I don't think it's fully priced in in the sense that we've seen the market go up and down based on, you know, the flurry of rumors every day. Um, you know, I think one good thing for the market that will come out of a deal or even just kicking a can down the road is the fact that uh, further tariffs won't be implemented. There was a lot of concern about the impact of these broader, steeper 25 percent tariffs and also the retaliation uh, that would uh, ensue on U.S. companies, on the U.S. economy. Uh, to the extent that we either kick that down the road or actually take it off the table through a deal, I think that will be positive. Sure. One thing, though, that I think uh, markets should be, we should be careful about uh, is the assumption, if there is a deal, that, okay, problems have been solved. All problems have been solved either between the United States or Ch and China, because there are a lot of other issues on the table that can cause tension, and also in the Chinese economy, which is slowing, and it's slowing for reasons that don't have anything to do with the trade war. They mm -hmm. have to do with entrenched problems in the Chinese economy, and that will continue. And Charlie, as we know, anytime there's uh, weakness in China, we see our markets suffer, especially the, the sectors that are exposed to it. Overnight, we got a better read on the services gauge out of China. Again, we always have to take the numbers with a grain of salt. But is there a sense we're seeing green shoots in terms of China's growth turning a corner? So China is not slowing. I apologize. Whenever I come on, I get a little tough on this. China is growing maybe at a, at a slower rate than it was growing before. But if a car is driving 50 miles an hour, then a minute later it's driving 55, then a minute later it's going 58, we wouldn't say that car is slowing. We might say it's accelerating at a lower rate.